Hi, I'm McKenna Audrey, and these are your Rock TV announcements. Get excited for WHS Homecoming 2018 from September 24th through the 29th. Tomorrow's class color. Freshmen are red, sophomores are yellow, juniors are blue, and seniors are black. Homecoming parade is at 6 p.m. Powder Puff game is at 7 p.m. or following the parade. Homecoming game versus Avon. Homecoming dance, 7 to 10 p.m. in WHS Main Gym this Saturday. Athletics. Girls varsity soccer falls to Carmel High School 3-0. Girls varsity soccer falls to Brownsburg High School, 2-0. Girls tennis open hit on 9-28 has been canceled. Girls tennis, there will be a call-out meeting for girls tennis on October 3rd at 2.55 in room 1206. All girls interested in playing tennis in the spring should attend. The call-out meeting for WHS Winter Cheer will be on Wednesday, October 10th during Rocks Connection in room 2407. Hi. My name is Lance Grubb. I am a French teacher here at Westfield High School. I'm sure many of you know me. We are going to be hosting our very first Westfield Global Fair on October 24th um, in the atrium and in the auditorium and in the LGI after school from 6.30 to 9.30. What that is, is it is following a wonderful band concert that offers cultural music and then the Rocks Foodie Club is going to be creating different dishes from around the world that you can try. And then we have students and student organizations that are going to come together to diet, to show their diversity um, through Westfield. So they're going to be coming up with presentations and games and just having fun um, for a couple hours after school. The way that you get involved, and we need you to be involved to show your diversity at Westfield, is to come to the call-out meeting this Wednesday during Rocks Connection in my room, 2209. If you are a part of a student organization or you just want to show your diversity and culture that you have to offer, then come see me and we'll get you started. It's going to be lots of fun, we're going to have lots of food, just a great time for everybody. Thanks! Hi, I'm Katherine Mick with Student Government. I'm your student body president and I'm here to remind you that homecoming is coming up. Thursday, September 27th, after school around 6 p.m. we have our parade and that involves the entire community. So come on out and see that and then right after we have our powder puff game. You don't want to miss that either. Hi, I'm Benjamin Rascon Gracia and Friday is going to be our neon day. So it's going to be super exciting. We will then have our pep rally. So schedules will be sent out for that later. Our game against Avon is going to be that evening, so make sure to come out and cheer on your football team, and we will then be crowning our homecoming court. Saturday, September 29th is our homecoming dance, and this year the theme is A Night in Paris. You really don't want to miss this, guys. It's from 7 to 10 p.m., and tickets are on sale Wednesday through Friday, the next two weeks in the atrium or in the cafeteria during your lunch. Um, as you know, uh, you may have heard, the district over the last 14 years has put more emphasis and more focus on STEM. Uh, we are now a K-12 district focused on STEM education where uh, kindergartners all the way through seniors in high school have the opportunity to take STEM type courses or programs or curriculum that's offered. So it's taken us about 14 years to get to this point, but we finally have made that uh, voyage and, and completed the STEM pathway. Um, to follow up a little bit more about the courses here at the high school, the engineering pathway is, uh, we've had it for 14 years now, this was the first pathway that we actually Im implemented here at the high school. Um, as a freshman, they would you start out taking Introduction to Engineering Design, which is very much uh, hands-on base, but also using three-dimensional software, it's called Autodesk Inventor. As a sophomore, you take the Principles of Engineering, where you apply the concepts from um, the design process that you learned in IED um, and actually build, test, break, um, destroy things and understand why things work and why things don't work. As a junior, there are two options, uh, aerospace engineering where a lot of robotics, um, flight simulators, um, uh, different types of rocketry, um, gliders, things like that are built and tested. And then as a junior, you also have the option of taking civil engineering and architecture, which is understanding how different buildings are built, um, the structure of them, the architectural styles. Um, you use a program that's called Revit. Um, you can make three-dimensional buildings and you actually can put the furniture and everything in them and see what they look like. As a senior, the capstone course, which is engineering design and development, allows you to basically for two trimesters study and solve a problem. Um, so you have to prove the problem exists by research and data and quantitative information. 
um, and then you go through the design process of actually solving, building it, testing it, and making sure that it works, and you present it to industry partners. So that's a little bit more uh, kind of rationale or explanation on, on those. Hi Westfield, my name is Lily Brown and on Tuesday, October 2nd, Westfield High School is hosting the Dance Marathon Blood Drive during first, second, third, and fourth period in the upper gym. You must be 16 years old to donate. If you are not 16, you must have a parent permission slip. You must drink water before you donate. You have to start hydrating two days before you do donate. Avoid caffeinated drinks, eat iron-rich foods such as red meat, pork, chicken, beans, seafood, leafy greens, and dried fruit. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. The Indiana Blood Center alone needs 550 units of blood every day to support the local hospitals. Red blood cells go straight to trauma victims such as those in bad car accidents. Plasma goes to burn victims and platelets go to help patients that are hemorrhaging, which means they are bleeding really badly. Our blood drive is extremely important because 30% of donations come from students. Our goal this year is to have 250 people sign up. If you are 16 years or older and want to save three lives, then pull up your sleeve and sign up for the WHS Dance Marathon Blood Drive. Hey Westfield, it's Catherine Mick, your student body president, and I'm here to tell you homecoming week is upon us, and that means homecoming voting. Every single class has their nominees for prince and princess, but seniors, that's a different story. Everyone, no matter what grade you are, is gonna vote for who's gonna be our homecoming queen and our homecoming king. And here are the nominees for that now. We want you guys to meet them. My name is Corey Phillips. And I'm Ari Grenage. And we've been together for two and a half years. And we are so excited to be on Senior Homecoming Court. Hi, my name is Camille Kern. And I'm Duncan McGraw. We are super excited to be representing the class of 2019 on Homecoming Court this year. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie Zolodek. I'm Wayman Chia. And we're excited to be on Homecoming Court this year. My name is Elizabeth Walton. My name is Evan Tomac. And we've never been on Homecoming Court, but we are very excited to represent the class of 2019. And vote for Rohan Kumar with the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Carrie Effinger. And I'm Rohan Patel. And we're excited for Homecoming Week. We are the class of 2019 Homecoming nominees. But it was so awesome. And that's all for your Rock TV announcements. Be happy, be bright, be you, and have a great Wednesday, Westfield.